At ESMO 2023, I had the pleasure of presenting the results of the global Phase 3 ALENA study. This was the first randomized study of an adjuvant ALK inhibitor in patients with completely resected ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer. Now, we know that rates of disease recurrence after surgery are high. And in patients with resected ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer, the advances that we've seen in immunotherapy in the early stage setting don't apply. And the standard of care remained adjuvant platinum-based chemotherapy. In the ALENA study, we looked at the effects of two years of adjuvant electinib on uh, disease-free survival after surgery. So in the study, 257 patients with completely resected stage 1b to 3a ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer were randomised to treatment either with two years of electinib or to standard of care chemotherapy. The study was positive for its primary endpoint of disease-free survival. Treatment with adjuvant electinib improved disease-free survival compared to chemotherapy with a hazard ratio of 0.24, which was highly statistically significant. When we looked in detail at subgroups, we saw benefit across all the subgroups um, that we looked at, including stage and nodal status. This benefit was consistently seen across stage 1b, 2 and 3a disease with hazard ratios of 0.21, 0.24 and 0.25 respectively. We also looked at the endpoint of CNS disease-free survival. And this is important because of the propensity of um, uh, brain for patients with ALK-positive lung cancer to develop brain mets. Treatment with electinib improved disease-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.22. We also found that treatment with electinib was well tolerated um, with a low incidence of grade three or uh, grade four adverse events. So as a result, um, the results of the LENA study support the use of electinib as an adjuvant treatment option for patients with completely resected stage 1b to 3a ALK positive non-small cell lung cancer.